Okay, let's talk briefly about click tracking here in Aweber. And that is a feature that's very simple to use. And basically how you do it is whenever you create your message, in this case I'm going to create a broadcast message from my Warrior Post of the Day list. You will notice that right over here, at the, whoops, first I have to tell it that I'm going to create a broadcast message. And then you will notice that right here is an option that I need to check off that says click tracking, enable tracking of clicks on links in your message. All I have to do is click on that and that is it. Now what it's going to do is at any place in my email message that I've put a regular hyperlink, it's automatically going to convert that into a, a trackable URL. It's going to disguise, it's going to hide that URL. Uh, people are not going to be able to see your affiliate ID. They're not even going to be able to see uh, the address of the landing page of where it's going to go to. So it's going to completely disguise that and then if people click on it it will be able to track that information for you. Now let me take you over uh, and show you how to view your message and you can view the tracking that's being done on it. I'm going to return back to the home page and I sent out a message to the Warrior Post of the Day this morning and I'm going to scroll on down. I've gone to the home page and if I scroll on down to the bottom below my list I will see a list of all of my recent broadcasts and right here is the message that I sent out today. And over here to the right, you will see clicks, and then you will see how many clicks that so far that email has received on the links that are inside of that, um, of that mailing. Now, if I want to get even more specific detail, it shows 80 clicks, but notice that 80 is hyperlinked. So if I hover over it there and click, it will take me to the reports section of Aweber and it will show me a very nice bar graph here of in this case I have three different links inside of this email it will also show me the URL that I typed in as well as how many links that it has received or you can even have that information emailed to you if you wish so that's a very nice uh, feature there of Aweber. Now, that's for tracking in uh, uh, broadcasts. It works the exact same way with follow-up, but the difference is checking it. How are you going to check it? It's a little bit different. In this case, let me return back to the home page, and I'm going to switch over to my Warrior Post of the Day list. Warrior Post of the Day, listen to me, my Marketing Tools Today list. I told you I had a lot of lists. I get them all confused. And how to do that then is in order to check the clicks on follow-up messages on our autoresponder, you will have to switch to the list that you want, go over to Reports, and then the sub-tab there of Reports. and on the left hand side way toward the bottom you will see follow-up totals or follow-up percentages by clicking on those it will show you a graph chart of all of your different follow-up messages uh, how many times that it has been sent out and how many times the different links in each of those messages has been clicked on so just a little different process that you have to go to in order to check the clicks on your follow-up messages then you do your broadcast messages but it is a very handy feature of Aweber and one that you definitely want to take advantage of.